Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over an independent sample t-test in Joust. An independent sample t-test will allow us to compare two different groups to each other. An independent sample t-test will allow us to take two different groups that are different from each other and compare them to each other. For example, we could compare our sample of undergraduates and see if they spend more time being bored than our sample of graduate students. We could also take a sample of undergraduates and see if they spend more time on social media than a sample of graduate students. In both of these situations, we have two separate samples that we're comparing to each other. In order to conduct an independent sample t-test, we're going to need to meet these assumptions. First, we have two samples that are independent of each other, meaning that there is no overlap between these samples. Our variable will need to be interval or ratio scale. Our samples need to be approximately normally distributed, and the variance of our two samples will need to be roughly equal. All right, now to set up our data. In order to set up our data for an independent sample t-test, we're going to need to convey two pieces of information to JASP. The first will be which group a participant is in, and the second will be what their score was on our dependent variable. To do that, I have a variable here called college level. College level will tell JASP what group our participants is in. Here, all of the ones stand for undergraduates, and all of the twos stand for graduate students. My dependent variable is right next to that, where I have the scores on my dependent variable, in this case, the number of hours they spend bored per week. Now that I have my data entered, I can go ahead and enter this into JASP. Now that we have our data in JASP, the first thing we should do is name our different groups. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on my grouping variable, which is the level they are in college. You'll notice that that variable is a nominal variable. Now I can go ahead and label my different values so that one is my undergrads and two is my graduate students. Now that I've done that, we can go ahead and run our independent sample t-test. To do that, we'll click on t-tests and then click on independent sample t-test. Once we've done that, we'll come to this window here. The first thing we should do is make sure student is selected under tests, and then we can move over our variables. We'll start by moving our grouping variable over, college level, into the grouping variable box. Then we can move over our first dependent variable, which is the number of hours per week spent bored. And we'll move that over into our variables box. Once we've done that, we'll see our t-test over here, our t-value, our degrees of freedom, and our p-value and we'll see that it's statistically significant. In order to figure out which group spent more time bored, we'll go ahead and click on descriptives, and we'll get our means and standard deviations for those two groups. You'll notice that undergrads spent more time bored than graduate students. Let's go ahead and look at our other test. We'll go ahead and remove time spent bored, and move over time spent on social media. Here we see a new t-value, degrees of freedom, and a new p-value, which is not statistically significant. We'll also see our means and our standard deviations down here. All right, now that we have our results, we can go ahead and write this up in APA format. To write up our results for our independent sample t-test in APA format, we'll go ahead and write a sentence that conveys the information from our test. In our first example, we found that the number of hours undergraduates spent bored was significantly more than the number of hours that graduate students spent bored. In our sentence, we have our means and standard deviations for both groups in parentheses, and we have our t-test results in parentheses as well. We'll have our t-symbol, our degrees of freedom, our actual t-value, and then our p-value. In our second example, we found that there wasn't a difference between undergraduates and graduate students on the amount of time they spent on social media. Again, we have our means and standard deviations in parentheses, and we have our t-test itself in parentheses as well, with our degrees of freedom, our t value, and our p value. All right, thanks for watching this video on conducting an independent sample t test in JASP.